John O'Rourke is a veteran Austin broadcaster. He worked in both radio and television for many years as a newscaster and sports announcer. And he started the broadcasting program at Riverland Community College. O'Rourke also served as Austin's mayor for nearly a decade, and he emceed the Miss Minnesota pageant back when it was held in Austin. Now O'Rourke has another claim to fame. He has been inducted into the Minnesota Broadcasting Hall of Fame. We talked to O'Rourke about his lifetime of accomplishments. Unroll the film to the title and hold it up to the light. Well, the early days of broadcast television, it, it, it was difficult because we didn't have any videotape. Imagine that, no videotape. So here is our next inductee, John O'Rourke. I'm John O'Rourke, and I'm a retired broadcaster. I got a letter. We feel you're qualified to be a member of the Broadcasting in Minnesota Hall of Fame. I read it. I read it again. I read it again. I said, Damn, darn it. How about that? I loved sports. I thought it'd be nice to be a sports broadcaster. I finished Brown Institute and uh, I couldn't get a job because I was so darn eligible for the military. Got over to Korea. This was just after the fighting. But I got a job with the Armed Forces Radio Network. It was a Radio Gypsy, it's called. We had seven stations over there. And that was wonderful. It was a great place to start. I enjoyed it very much and I uh, got out of the Army and uh, looked for a job, and I got one in La Hunta, Colorado. I found out that Austin was looking for a sports broadcaster, and oh boy, did I jump at that. But, uh, I was doing news and sports on radio and television. I was news director, yes, at, uh, oh, it was probably about 10 years in, I guess. I did the Jerry Lewis telethon every year, I think about 20 years worth. Thank you, right, kind. Linda Heather, Mrs. Brainerd. And also about 20 years, I did the Miss Minnesota pageant. It was held here in Austin. We had two girls that made Miss America. I was asked to join a group of people that were starting to a public television station. And I also, at the same time, I was invited to start a program at Riverland Community College to train broadcasters. And it was great to see the students that graduated and have better jobs than I did. I don't know why I ran for mayor when I was 10 years, so I had five terms. Sports and broadcasting has been really the key to my existence. People say, why, why, why do you stay in Austin? I love Austin. 